What is going on guys? My name is Greg and welcome back to the How to Make series. I was actually messing around with emblems again here and I made the Avengers poster for the new Infinity um, Infinity uh, Infinity War, right? Isn't that it? Avengers Infinity War uh, movie poster. And I was trying to make recreate the poster a little bit and I went ahead and did that. So this is going to be after... Um, the Kylo Ren one, so I think I'm going to post this one before I post the Kylo Ren, even though that one's the video is already done. So we're going to go ahead and get right into it. There's a lot of playing with colors here, so it's going to take some time. First one, you're going to want a dark purple. We'll go ahead into the colors here. I used a dark purple and a black. Uh, you toggle it to the middle, and then you do the offset of 80 and the spread of 49. And then, um, get this one in. This is a blue line. There we go. And this will be, oh, this one's just straight up blue. There's nothing there. And then, and actually, you know what? Let's, I'm going to skip, hold on, let's, let's skip three. Let me see where I start off here. It's a lot of stuff you guys are not going to want to deal with. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. I know I don't like jumping in my series. So we're going to go to 28. Um, so we're going to put that back here like this. We're going to cut it off up there. Then we'll go to uh, 29. And then we'll go to 30. And these are just black right now. There's nothing special about them. I did a little triangle there. If you see how it's shaped. Oops. And then a, another triangle here. And then a triangle here. I mean a, a rectangle, square, whatever here. Okay. So now we're going to go back over to 20. Yeah, we'll do 27. And that'll be a square down here in the corner. And then we'll get another square right here. That'll lean in like this. And then another square that'll lean in like this. So I know I'm working all over the place, but this is just how it's got to be because there's no other way to do this. So we'll go over 23 and then 24 because everything's going behind it. This is all uh, stuff that's going behind it. So that's why it's all wackadoo like it is. So let's make sure I've got it all. Okay, so that's the A. Yeah, okay, so we're good there. All right, now we can get in. Now we can go all the way back. So remember, start at 23. You can start at 23 if you want to, uh, but 23 through 33 do first. And you don't have to do that because you can always pull like I did when I originally made it. So we're going to get a this thing right here. And it is a white and dark purple, the top purple one, with an offset of 96 and a spread of 49. Whoops. And then this is a blue and purple. And this is a lightish blue and then a dark purple with a 94 offset and a spread of 49. Make sure that's full. And then you can just copy and paste this one to the next one because it goes here. These are exactly the same, these two. So, and then I think this one's, this, yeah, this one is the same too. It goes here. Just want to we go and then this one's the same too so these are copy and paste you have to go in and mess with the colors every time that's that's how I wanted to make it with a little easier so just putting them here and then okay so now we're getting into another color uh, I used pink with a 93 offset pink of the first color dark purple as the second of course and then a spread of 49 whoops and then you can copy and paste that one up here. And then eh, copy and paste again. So right there. And then another copy and paste. Right here. And then this one is the same as the white one. So you can go back um, here to three and just paste and same thing with the blue they're all the same the whites the blues and the pinks they're all the same so you can go copy that blue one over here in 14 and same thing with this one it's another copy and paste and 
And then, of course, copy and paste the white one now, which goes right there. And then another white right there. And then another white goes up over there. It's a very thin one. And another white. A lot of colors mixing here. Then copy and paste a blue down here. And then a white. And then another white. Okay, so now we're at 23, so basically that's the inside done. And then we'll go to 34, where I made a gray uh, eyebrow thing. You guys know that? And there's a gray thing, there's a, um, there's, yeah, there's a gray one here, a little square, so we'll get to that. And then I put up here a, also with these, you want to go ahead, I'm sorry, the, these 34 and 35, you want to go ahead and use the uh, material pick picker and then hit the one right below the brick. That's for 34 and 35, and we'll be coming back to that uh, stuff, not these two, but that uh, layer, and I'll let you know when. But so we go to this one. Uh, the colors is dark purple and black, 100% offset, 49 spread. Want it as dark around the edges as possible. And then I stretched out one of these things, hollowed it out like I did with my Legend of Zelda thing and a couple of the thing. And that was blue, like a, a very bright blue and a bright green, which sets it offset of 28 and a spread of 49. Okay, so back down here, we'll get one of these things, whatever it is. And that will be a blue and a white with an offset of uh, four, a f offset of four and a spread of forty nine. And then you want to go ahead and make it in the middle, like I did uh, for that one. This one's in the middle too, and this one as well. Usually I keep them in the middle. If I don't put them in the middle, I'll let you know. So we'll get a white and stick it right over top of there, a white eyebrow. And then we'll get one of these again. And we'll make sure this one's not hollow and kind of just stretch it out to where it gives that thin little line. And then this is a offset of 100 and a uh, spread of 49. And that's dark purple and black. And then we want this one. We'll get another one of these. And then, of course, the color is different for this one. Of course, it's in the middle. We'll get like a pinkish and a white with an offset of 30 and a spread of 49. That'll go up there. And then uh, layer 42. We'll get another one of these things and kind of just stretch it out like we did at the bottom there. And adds an offset of 96 and a spread of 4. That's for the uh, purple and the black. And of course, it's right in the middle, if you know what I mean. Okay, so. Now we'll get one of these things. These hook things, you know, I'm very fond of these. This is just straight black. And we'll put one up there. And we'll put another one right there. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to use this thing right here. This is a gray. Put that there. And then a gray right here. Okay, then I want to get a half circle and put it right here. Okay, and then we want a white and a uh, green. And we want, of course, in the middle, I'm going to stretch out to 80 and spread a 4. And then I grew up some of these black hooks again. Put one right here. And put another one up here. And then we'll get another half circle. Kind of just stretch it out a little bit over that green. And, of course, it's a blue, I mean a purple a dark purple and a black with an offset of a hundred and a spread of four. So a little bit different spread and then we'll go ahead and put a green here. Just a straight green, no color mixing or anything, just straight up green. Okay, so now this is pretty simple, it's just white. That's an eye, that's not a square. I also used, actually, I also used an eye here so I can get it real thin. Uh, if you see it a real thin line, it's usually a Y, I mean an eye. Because the square doesn't go as thin. And then all this is going to spell is infinity.
every time I do this, I want to say Infinity Ward or Infinity Warfare, and I know it's Infinite Warfare. It always messes me up, and I don't. It's just confusing to me, and I don't know why. It shouldn't be confusing. Infinity. And then we're on layer 60. We'll get a uh, eye. This is another eye right here. And it will be pink and blue. You want it in the middle as well. Um, actually, no, I don't have this one in the middle. I have it on the sides. That's right. Um, and then it's an offset of 60 and a spread of 4. Real thin-like. This is another eye, which is just straight blue. There's no special anything to it. And this is also just straight blue. No... Uh, Nothing special, no two-tone. Then we got a square this time. And of course we use that material again with a dark gray. Uh, the th third one down. And I'll show you hold on, right there. And then of course one more. And it's the same uh, material and same uh, somewhat placement goes straight down. And that is it. That is the Avengers Affinity War uh, poster. Uh, as best as I could possibly get it, if somebody can get it better, that's always good. I always encourage people to try to improve my work, because I always want it the best it possibly can be. I think it came out real nice, and uh, yeah. So I hope you guys appreciate it. I hope you guys appreciate some of the logos I've been doing. Uh, I've really enjoyed doing them. As you can see right there, that looks really freaking good. I actually might use this myself, uh, even though I've been using my Batman one. But that uh, that turned out really well, actually. If you see it down in the corner there, it looks really good. So I hope you guys really appreciate this one. Uh, give it some likes. Subscribe for more stuff like this. Go ahead and share it. Uh, if you guys like it, go ahead and, uh, like I said, subscribe, comment. So tell me what you guys think of some of these logos. That way I know how to improve them because I've actually really enjoyed figuring out new logos and what to do with them. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much. Peace.